Hello everyone, welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent Part 2. <clears throat> now, it told me to run in the last episode, uh, when I got to this part. I'm not really a big fan, because usually that means, um, something's about to chase me. Sorry, just adjusting the phone. Damn it, my phone ain't plugged in. Okay, my phone is plugged in, okay. Okay, now we can start the episode. Shut the fuck up over there. Oh, shift is to run. That's some sort of crest. Blood. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum, my most precious chamber, Daniel, and it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Very stone of Brennenburg. Quite a nice place, if I do say so. But we'll go down there in just a little bit. I gotta do some exploring here. So much to see, so much to do in this wonderful castle. Again, how does so much wind get in a castle? It's a laboratory. It's the wine cellar. Uh, does not open without a key. Door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul of London seemed appropriate somehow. You know, maybe I should go back to where they said they want me to go before I get a little ex exploratory. the fuck? That's a bit freaky. The okay, oil, tinder boxes. Oh yeah, some critters. Gritty critters. Jeez. Oh, don't you hiss at me, asshole. Hiss You wanna hiss at me? Come here! Come here, bitch! He's... Kill your whole family. <laughs> Whatever, you guys are like invincible. This shit. Break all of this. Ooh. Some oil. Jeez. Hope you die. Down we go. The Fabrica Eloquent Eloquatria Quatoria. The refinery. I'm gonna call it the refinery. Ah. Oh my goodness! Yummy! Okay, what, what was the button again? Nope. J for journey. Okay, note to stay note to self. We've read that before. Diaries, no diaries, memoirs. So I need to find the keys of the uh, for the wine cellar. Some sort of organic tissues blocking the path at the, to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? By hand or tools. Okay, so I think I was going the right way before. Like, let's check out this door. Oh! 
Okay, so I'm very much trapped in here on what could be a very uh, living uh, organism. That is so wonderful. Some sort of like. Hmm. Interesting place. Okay. Archives. Archives. Yeah. Fell to the kitchen floor. His tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he re received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she would. Ah. Damn it! Sounds like something's here. Dang it. Gotta stand up. Alright, so nothing in there. The door's back. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm, so what the hell did they dig up? We need some more firewood in here. There we go. All fixed up. Just need to burn that chair now. I just feel more comfortable staying low. There we go. A little bit of light. Damn it! A little bit light over here. I could light these. Oh, <gasps> What's in this room? Alright, now calm down in here. Surely nothing's gonna come out and kill me. I'm a perfect man. Check down just a second. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. 
but the walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. No. A trapped man. Yeah, we'll get a little light going on in here. Ooh. I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. box in here. Take that. Much going on over here. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. So if I go... I love horror games. Horror games are fun. This is fun. I love mansions. It won't open. It's locked. Okay, it's so a journal. Uh, the door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Probably. I'll just head over here into the it seems to be a very bright, beautiful, wonderful room. Oh my gosh. Okay, lever. I like how it's still doing a tutorial here. Is there any way of turning that off? Can I turn off? Show hints. Turn that off. came from this way. No wait, I did not. This is a different area. No, I did come from this way. I actually need to go down the hallway here. These are quite gorgeous paintings. Go ahead and fill up my uh, oil. Might as well top it off. So, so many old scrolls. Parchments. Java doll. It's okay. Have some light. Just relax. You just gotta relax. Apparently that paper was some sort of flashbang. 17th of May. the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. 
My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Really wants me to go towards the light, but if you insist, what? it was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Okay, do I, do I touchy? I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Well, that's pretty cool. That's a cool story, bro. So surely it's gonna be somewhere locked away in this building. Delinquent Im images type units. We got quite a few things in here. Ooh. More old tinder boxes. is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. So, why were they reinforcing this castle? It's the east wing, and that's the western hall. From the looks of it, I'm probably in the western hall right now. Okay. Oh, it's completely caved in now. Okay, diaries. Mentos. Let's find a new way out of this area. It's probably somewhere over here. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. Some sort of tool. can give me the swing needed. Kind of a cozy area, if you do ask me. Okay. Let us go. Somewhere out there. Okay. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dan. So I am Daniel. Draft faint light are coming behind the shelf. There must be a way in. 
Move the books. First try. That's a piece of paper I need. Alright, here we go. Light that sucker up. So to break that, I need some sort of tool. That's locked. So, I'm Daniel. I murdered someone. Was it the old guy that I've been hearing? Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have en endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wil Wind Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they'll, they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed, some, feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both problems. What the fuck?! Oh, no, 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 no. Is Am I about to meet the monster? I don't want to meet him. I'm just gonna creep out this way. No. Fully? I don't want to meet him. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. We'll need to light some of this place up. So I'm able to recover my sanity. So that doesn't budge anymore. Wonderful. My sanity's fine. I'm terrified. But we're gonna start walking. Can I break something here? Okay. 
Okay, so I can. Local folklore. Alice. Alistad. And Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is. Alstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a picturesque as can be. Albeit, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tale. But there are some motifs, motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many, many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid rivians. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their private presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Damn, there's so much to read. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for the remnants of the kingdoms of kingdoms past. Uh, during his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he has mentioned to, in many records. Of the time, one day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble. Some ten years later, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, Altstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The immortal Baron, the Baron of Brandenburg, lives a reclusive life with his family at the castle nearby, Altstad, and like the most of the noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular through the, his presumed life. Family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle, along the great leaders of the country. Well, that is quite interesting. Anyway, everyone, that's all the time I have for this episode, so... Probably next episode, we're going to be seeing the monster himself. A glorious beast, I'm sure. Anyway, everyone, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please give me a subscribe. Stay tuned for Horror Month. Every hour on the hour, a video will be released. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.